Those of you who've been watching my channel closely for a while will know I often talk about this process I call minimum viable content, where a number of years ago, I bought a load of exact match domains, where basically I'd read a book on domain investing, I'd always been intrigued how it worked, and it basically involves looking up keywords, making sure they have some volume, you know, around 250 searches per month, and also a decent CPC value, so cost per click, the equivalent value of that traffic if it were acquired by Google Ads. So this particular write-up said go for a minimum volume of 250 searches per month and a minimum CPC of $2 or something like that. And he was specifically targeting contractor domain names. So grabbing them for $10 and then doing outbound emails to loads of contractors in that location or industry and then selling them for a couple of hundred dollars. But rather than go through all that effort of cold emailing them, I realized if my skill set's in SEO, Surely I can build these into a more powerful asset. Now, the downside with that, as I'm always saying on my channel, your biggest enemy is hesitation and spreading yourself too thin. That's exactly what I did. So I proceeded to not do anything at all. And then every year I had this really big renewal bill coming through, reminding me that I was really in the hole with these domains. Never mind buy them for $10 and flip them for a couple of hundred. I was convinced they were worth far more, but for the time being, they were costing me thousands of dollars every year. So when ChatGPT came out, I basically set up a process with my team where we just put a really good homepage on each one. And I say really good homepage, what I mean is a surfer optimized template where we use ChatGPT and use all the recommendations and entities that surfers scraped from top 10 competitors for that keyword. And that way we just leave it for six months, keep doing what we're doing, keep doing nothing. But the fact is Google can't rank what's not there. Whereas if we've at least got these domains hosted with a homepage of content that's fully optimized, then at the very least in six months to a year's time, we'll have a good idea of some of these actually starting to rank for keywords. And that gives us really good data. That means rather than going out into the blue, spending money, building links, doing outreach, and not really knowing what's going to work or not, we can simply wait and see which of these domains perform with no work whatsoever, if they work at all without that kind of work. And the fact is they do. So I've been meaning to do an update on this. As you know, I always like to be accountable on YouTube. Don't want to be a fake guru. So I'm talking a lot about this process in October by which point we're probably around six months into that content. So now another six months later, I'm going through and seeing how those homepages are actually performing. Now, some of these we have upgraded. You can see some of these do have some DR, some domain rating. So we've got 18 and 12. That's because we have been building high quality backlinks to them because they've progressed to the next stage where basically we want to start everything with a plain template and just basic ChatGPT content. But if we start to see good signs, then we move on to the next level of optimization. So we do some basic off-page, we do citations and press releases, and we actually improve the content and make the website look good. After that, we'll probably start spending the serious money where we reach out to industry relevant websites and start building high quality backlinks. And this is why I recommend to all my clients, yes, we're fundamentally a link building agency and you do need to build those backlinks to really rank, but the backlinks aren't going to help if there are problems with your sites, your content's not optimized, so we include a load of those fixes for free as well. So you can see some of these DR18, DR12, ranking for a lot of keywords and getting some decent traffic. Now, in this case, these are actually insurance domains. That is a niche I've gone hard on because insurance is actually a really good niche for SEO and it's very high ticket. So even though we're only seeing 108 visitors per month in Ahrefs, some of these users are incredibly high value. So I can tell you this one, we basically insure some particularly large buildings. So I won't say any more about that one. But what's really intrigued me lately is, yes, this is fair enough. We can see some keywords come through. We start building links. The DR goes up and then we get a load more traffic as a result. But like I say, we're trying to be minimalist with all that. If we come down here, you can see we have a DR of zero. Now, plenty of these fail. If I come down here, you'll see plenty of these sites which are doing absolutely nothing. So zero keywords ranking, zero traffic and zero DR. A lot of these won't even be hosted properly or have that level of optimization. But up here, we have a real outlier because we've got traffic of 61 from just seven keywords and it has a DR of zero. If we come over here, it doesn't even have a single backlink. Generally, any website on the internet will generally start picking up some referring domains because if you've used a tool like Ahrefs, you'll know you'll pick up all these dodgy spammy links from all over the place. And that's fine. It's not a problem. It just happens. But this website has not had a single link and yet it's getting 61 traffic for an insurance niche keyword. What's more, we can get an idea of how well it's ranking because the number of keywords it's ranking for is very low. So traffic is obviously your number of 
actual site visitors per month. But that's based on where you're ranking for these keywords. So you can rank for quite a lot of keywords. In this case, we've got one that ranks for 57 keywords, but none of those keywords are that high. And so we're only getting a traffic of nine visitors per month. So this is a very typical example. You rank for a lot of keywords, but none of them that well. So your traffic remains low. Whereas in this case, we have the opposite. Our traffic is really high. In fact, the traffic is 10 times the number of keywords we're actually ranking for. And that tells us we're ranking pretty well for those seven keywords, even though we have zero DR and zero backlinks. So if we zoom in, I'll show you those seven keywords that we're ranking for. And so the, I said, these are exact match domains, which means the keyword we're targeting is the domain name. And in this case, that keyword gets 800 searches per month. It has a CPC value of almost $3, which is pretty high. And yet we're ranking at position 11, just at the bottom of page one for that main keyword. So that tells us, first of all, the power of exact match domains. They do still work. They're not old and black hat. They do work very well, but also that page is well optimized. We've done this purely through on-page optimization. No backlinks have been done. And then we have variations on those keywords. Again, all of which are ranking really well. They all have a CPC value. So we know they're good keywords with commercial value. And many of them are on page one. We've got a 12, a seven, a seven, a 12, and a 10. So really just on the edge, bottom of page one. And you can see these are valuable keywords, not just from the CPC, but the keyword difficulty is quite high. I'm not a big believer in the keyword difficulty metric, but certainly a few years ago, people were saying, you should just go in order of keyword difficulty, write the blog post, target the keywords that have a zero or a one keyword difficulty and work your way up from there. Well, you can see here straight away, one page, just the home page, no backlinks. And yet we're ranking about to hit page one for a 37 keyword difficulty rating. Same thing for a 47 keyword difficulty rating. So what does this page actually look like? Obviously I am being quite limited in how much I'm sharing with you because this is a genuine website I care about. Now, at this point I should mention, if you do want to get better access to my actual projects and what I'm working on right now, without all the obscurity on YouTube, then my mastermind, the disciples is now live. You can now join it. What's more at the time of recording, we still have 20 places available for our early bird subscription price. Just before the weekend, we released the super early bird to our list of early applicants who applied months ago to be on the priority list. That sold out within 24 hours, but we do still have the early bird subscription available. And so right now there are 20 chances to lock this in for the life of your subscription before it goes up to the full 297 per month. So that would get you, get you two calls per month with me in a group setting. So we've got a high level group of people all going to be asking questions on the same call. Those calls will be recorded and go into our content vault. So the actual value of the membership is going to go up and up over time because we're going to have an ever bigger library and vault of content. But I also focus a lot on the power of the network. Some of my best SEO wins ever, basically. And the biggest ROI I've had from these kinds of memberships that I'm a part of is sometimes you have this one specific problem that you can't find the answer to anywhere else. And someone in a mastermind in the membership has had that same problem before. So yes, I might look like the central figure. And I'm sure, I hope you'll really appreciate two calls per month with me. But for me, honestly, a lot of memberships I'm in, I don't even turn up to the calls anymore. I just want that community element where when I have a problem, I can ask in the chat and get an answer really quickly. And of course, likewise, that gets reciprocated. I'm always answering questions in other communities to help other people out who have helped me. And this is before we even get on to some of the harder benefits I'm building for this community. So some of the most powerful backlinks you can get are known as private blog networks or PBN backlinks. They're a bit shady, bit black hat. You shouldn't really talk about them in public. But the fact is I'm looking at building a network like this for the disciples. So we'll have our own exclusive network of backlinks we can use, which are limited to only the members of the mastermind. So very hard to detect. They'll be very powerful because they'll only be linking out to a few members. Whereas if you go and buy PBNs on the internet, they've been sold all over the place. The power is really diluted. So if you lock in the early bird subscription today, you'll have access ultimately to thousands of dollars worth of powerful backlinks that no one else can get. So I'll leave a link below. Uh, this really is limited. There's no false scarcity. The super early bird subscription is grayed out now because it's sold out, but that really did exist. That really did launch. I can scroll through here and show you all these super early bird subscriptions that came through at $97. So it's absolutely real. It's all legit. And the early bird is no difference. We're, we're capping this at 20 members because ultimately masterminds lose value once they grow too big. We still want that critical mass, 
but we want to keep it small and quality. So there's a very limited number of super early birds, also a limited number of early birds, and then even the full price, there will be a cap to how many people we can ultimately onboard. So once we hit that, there's no guarantee we'll ever open this up again. But for the time being, what more can I tell you about this particular example? Well, let me show you what these sites actually look like. Because like I say, we do have plenty of duds that I don't really care about. Let me show you one of the duds. It looks exactly the same as the successful one. It's just not had the same results. So this is exactly what these sites look like. I am using the Cadence WordPress theme. It's really nice and simple. You can see I don't care about this anymore because the SSL has expired. But you can see it's just a plain page of ChatGPT content that's been enhanced with all the recommendations from Surfer. Now, what you've got to remember about Surfer is, is dynamic. If you optimize for the top 10 two years ago, and Google's obviously made a lot of changes in the meantime, then the chances are the top 10 today are going to be different to the top 10 two years ago and will have different requirements. So for that reason, I've just run an audit on this homepage and it's come back with a content score of 55. Uh, that's still pretty good going and that is in line with competitors. But generally when we're using Surfer, we recommend a minimum score of 70. So it's actually only two competitors in the top 10 who fit that requirement. But we basically included all these keywords and entities that Surfer recommends. Word count is a bit short, but it's just a starting point. And remember, with all this, I keep saying it's iterative. We wanted to just test out if we've got 50 domains, if we put a basic homepage on each one, what 10 of those work the best that we can then improve and iterate on. But one of the key things about this system is it's so simple, it loads really fast. So not only is it fast and easy and cheap to actually build, but technically, this actually works really well. It's all formatted correctly. We've got our FAQs, we've got our headings, but it also loads really fast just because there's no elements on the page to actually take time loading. So time to first byte and load time are really fast. That's really important. Loads of people go the wrong way and spend ages building a really beautifully designed website that's actually really slow and doesn't include the right on-page SEO factors to basically pre present that information in a way that Google can access it effectively. So I would say when you're starting out, just keep it simple. You just want text on a page. So in terms of the on-page elements here, you can see we have our title, we have our H2s basically addressing longer tail keywords and then we have faqs these are taken from the people also ask snippets so again it just helps you be more semantically comprehensive address all the different questions and answers within that particular niche now in terms of content quality you can actually see we've got one of the major ChatGPT footprints from the early days here as of my knowledge of cutoff in 2021 ChatGPT doesn't say that anymore but you probably remember in the early days of ChatGPT, you're pretty much always getting this response of as of my last knowledge. So what you can do is basically copy that and just put that in quotation marks on Google. And, and you can see how the internet has just been spammed with ChatGPT in the early days. So we've got Quora there, someone's LinkedIn post. So classic mistake there. So that one doesn't come up so much anymore, but there are plenty of these ChatGPT footprints. Ideally, you do want to avoid. We've actually got a whole list of these common ChatGPT footprints that we give away free. So for that, just go to seojesus.com and click on the ranking revelations newsletter and in that welcome email, you will have a link to that Google Sheet. And those are the footprints we tend to feed back into ChatGPT saying, rewrite this, but remove these elements. And of course, if you don't want to faff around yourself and you just want it done for you, we do have our done for you service. So you can fill in an application there. So this really is all that has been done to get results like this. So it's about correct on page. We do use exact match keyword rich domains. They do have a benefit. Of course, you can absolutely rank a page that doesn't have an exact match domain, but this is it. Really simple, one page website, basic cadence, WordPress theme, nothing else, really minimal. But then once we've established this, we can see that with this minimal effort, we are ranking at the top of page two, bottom of page one for a really good 800 search a month keyword, keyword difficulty of 37 and around a $3 CPC. We can then proceed to the next stage. That site has unlocked the next package and it's worthy of investment. So we then give it everything. We design the website properly, rewrite the content, do the easy foundation links, the press release and the citations, and then start doing a high quality outreach campaign where we'll get high quality backlinks into the site. And that's what really moves the needle in terms of this domain rating metric. So this high value buildings insurance domain is now up to a domain rating of 18. This one is 12. We've got that by going out and negotiating with webmasters en masse, screening them for quality, making sure they've got a minimum DR of 30, minimum traffic of 1,000, and then doing a load of extra screening checks. So are those metrics true or are they inflated? And generally, how do we feel about the site? How many other websites is it linking out to? 
because ideally we'd rather a smaller website that linked out to fewer websites rather than a massive news site that links out to everyone. And what kind of websites is it linking out to? Is the homepage full of casinos? All these common traps with link building where it's very easy to build the wrong links that either don't do anything or could potentially damage your website. So really long screening process, but if you build the right links, then that's what enables you to grow this domain rating in a safe and sustainable way and enables you to rank for these really high value keywords. I'm always a fan of smaller websites targeting high value niches rather than building some massive super blog where you're ranking for all this irrelevant traffic that's not actually going to convert very well. Find the keyword that really matters to you and do everything you can to push yourself up to number one. So that's perfect on page, building high quality backlinks. And there's also a few other tricks you can do that I've talked about before. CTR manipulation, we've got this robot that will repeatedly click on our results and push it higher up. But generally, there's no complicating it. You just need a basic page of content like this, optimized with a correlational tool like Surfer, Page Optimizer Pro, and time is a massive benefit as well. So these sites have just been left to age for about a year now. And it's because of that, that we're seeing these really impressive results like this. But you can speed up that process by getting on the backlinks and getting more power into the site. But in our case, we weren't going to do that across 50 websites at once. So instead, we've just done the on page, kept it really simple, haven't spent anything on them. And now we're coming back a year later and we can see around five really good websites where we can go all in on pushing these to the top.